want to take that large one? Like, yeah. Retailers okay. selling Batman paraphernalia say there's a rat in the bat cave. They say a counterfeiter or counterfeiters are trying to sell non-sanctioned bat gear to store owners. He said that he had a shipment of, I don't know, thousands of shirts coming into him from New York. Merchant Guy Steele is just about the purest of the purest when it comes to hawking bat gear. He turned the counterfeiter down cold. Now some of you might be saying, really, what's the point whether or not this is the good stuff or not? Well, the point is, in a few years, all this bat paraphernalia could become collector's items, but only if it's the good stuff. Ever since Batman paraphernalia first took off all those years ago, DC Comics has held on to the merchandising rights. Now that they've hit pay dirt again, they're not about to let a bunch of jokers rip them off. Warner Communications, which owns DC Comics, has alerted federal authorities to be on the lookout for the counterfeiters. You want that one? Yeah. Bat fans say if they come across the fake bat stuff, they won't touch it with a 10-foot bat pole. Would you buy any counterfeit Batman products? Not if I knew it was counterfeit. You wouldn't? No. Why not? It might be cheaper. Nah. I'd rather have the original. Now look closely. This is what the original bat gear looks like. Retailers say the counterfeiter's version, though, might include eyes and maybe a shorter wingspan. Sherry Water, Channel 5 News.